Hello everybody, how you doing? Right, well today basically, you know, we got many out here. And you know, I was saying this before, the familiar spirit is on the rise. Familiar spirit is entering a lot of people. Some people are preaching holiness and preaching it well, but they're preaching it with a familiar spirit, a, a Russian spirit, a spirit of anxiety, a spirit of depression, a spirit of Russian, like basically, you know, spirit that's saying, um, you know, do what you want. Run out there, go ahead. See, you gotta do God's will. So you can preach the Bible back and forth and preach what the Spirit reveals, but you have spirit, you have spirit, uh, familiar spirit in you, brothers and sisters, and you have a problem. Because that familiar spirit is gonna feed you familiarity. You know, it's not gonna feed you from what God is saying. So, with a familiar spirit, you can't preach to a congregation. You can't preach to nobody. Because the familiar spirit is holding you back. So those that are operating with this familiar spirit are not realizing it. Oh, I pray right now that that spirit comes out of you. The familiar spirit is nothing but basically a Jezebel spirit distracting you, fooling you. And you, you know, and you know, familiar spirit hindrance, it brings it brings things down. And the person that's, you know, being operated, they don't even realize what's going on. They blame it on this, they blame this, so everything's just good. You know, just saying, no, listen, don't let the familiar spirit fool you, because it will hold you back. And you know, when you could tell someone has a familiar spirit, since they near your spirit, the hold up, the hindrances, the, you know, the way they troll, the way they act, you know. So yeah, many need to be delivered from that spirit. Cause you preach the good word all day, but for me the spirit is a prideful spirit. Especially you get the spirit of pride as who you can't preach with a spirit of pride. You can falsely preach, but you can't teach nobody any kind of morals of God with pride. Once again, you gotta have pride in your God, and that's about it. Oh man. This has been grieving me because, you know, I'm just seeing familiar spirits walking around, man. And dear Lord, that familiar spirit, you know, if the spirit wanna wrap it, trying to go against your word, trying to go against your prophets, your servants, trying to go against the righteousness of who you are, trying to go against Cross of Jesus, Jesus Christ cancels that out. So, dear Lord, we just pray those caught under their spirit ignorantly, not realizing that they have returned from Satan fully. We pray, Lord, that they accept the Lord Jesus Christ, accept you as the Father, Father God. Fulfill the scripture that says, Thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth, and thou shalt be saved. Therefore, Lord, as what we pray today, as well as tomorrow, and we pray that in Jesus' name, Lord, amen. Now, just a quick prayer, because, you know, this is tough. And, you know, I say a lot of people that are preaching and talking and knowing the Bible and, you know, but it's not right. Christ said, you know them by their fruits, and if I see mixed fruit, I know when something's not good. All right, y'all, peace. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.